Hello everyone, we will continue the topic interactive classical reports and in the previous video we started with hide statement. We covered what is hide statement, what is the syntax of the hide statement, what are the prerequisites for the hide statement. Now same to same requirement we will achieve through hide statement. We will display the order numbers on the basic list from order header table. Whenever user will double click, we will display the details of that order number on the secondary list with from order item table. But yes, Rather than using the system variable psi l i s c l, we will go for same to same requirement through hide statement. Now, what I will do rather than going for changes in this existing program, I will make a copy of the program so that this program is as it is. I will go for copy. Suppose here I will write underscore hide suppose. Suppose I will write interactive classical report underscore hide because we will use hide statement here. I will go for copy. I will select all copy. I will save it as a local object. I will go for Activate. Now, in this particular program, firstly, I will comment this part, which is the part of add line selection. Because now, rather than using this system variable, yes, we will achieve this requirement through hide statement. Now, with the help of hide, what we will do? We will store the lines. We will store the lines into the hidden area while creating the basic list itself. Now, you are creating the basic list. Suppose if I am running the program, I am giving order number. We are fetching data from order header table and our, this is the basic list. Whatever the order numbers are coming, this is our basic list. And where is the logic for the basic list? This is the, this is what we are displaying the records which are appearing on basic list. So here I will use the hide statement. In the previous video, I told we should always, always use hide after the right statement. Yes. And I will show you why, why we are going for this. So firstly, I will write hide. You all know what is the syntax for the hide. Hide is a keyword. Then you need to pass the variables. What are your variables? Order number, order date, payment mode, currency. So we want to store the values of this. So we will store the values of this into the hidden area. So I used hide statement with these four variables. I will check the syntax and I will activate. Now, what I will do as of now up to this part, I will show you in the debugging mode and parallelly, I will show you the hide area. I will explain you the hide area, how, how the values will be in the hide area. I will put a breakpoint here. I will go for execute. Suppose I am going for order number 1 to 5. 
I will go to execute. I will go to desktop three. Now, this internal table has five records. It means this loop will continue five times. And we covered, yes, whenever we will go for hide area, three things will store into the hide area. Field name, field value, and the line number. Line number will be totally based upon this system variable. Now, if I will go for this system variable, and you will get the most important understanding here. As of now, this system variable line number is one. Now I will go inside the loop. I'm doing F6. I'm on write statement. Now, whenever I will go for writing the first line, have you seen whenever I'm writing the first line, this system variable become three. Okay. Now, suppose I'm going for writing the next line. This system variable become four. Now, the question is in everyone minds why this system variable has not started with one. This is the most important part. You are writing, you are writing five lines because this internal table has five records. Why the number of the line is starting from three? This is a very simple understanding. If I will go to execute, just see, we are writing these five records. But have you seen two lines are already present? This is the title of your program itself. And this is one underline. So two lines are already present. So that's why the system variable started from the third line itself. This is third line, fourth line, fifth line, sixth line, seventh line. That's why I told this system variable will play a vital role whenever we will store the information into the hidden area. If we have, suppose, top of page event we are using, and if we have some title, then it will definitely be start from four because three lines will be reserved at that point of time. So now I will show you the hidden area. I will explain the hidden area now. I will go to execute. I will go to desktop three. Now, firstly, I will parallelly show you the system variable. Suppose, firstly, we are writing the first record. Whenever we will write the first record, the system variable will be three because in actual, we are writing the third line. Now, how this hide statement will work? Whenever this hide statement will work, it will go for three things in the hidden area. Suppose if I will show you the values, these are the values of the first record. Now how hidden area will be? I will develop the Excel and I will show you how the values will go to the hidden area. I will just open one Excel. Now, in this particular case, I will show you how hidden area will work. So the three columns will be in the hidden area. What is first column? Line number. What is second column? Second column will be field name. And what will be the third column? Third column will be field value. Now, whenever hide statement will execute, yes. So what is the line number? Just see what is the line number. We discussed line number will be totally based upon this system variable. What is line number in the hidden area? Three. 
what is the field name if you see what is the field name this is our field name and what is the value value will be one now again line number will be three only and what will be the field name field name is this and what will be the sorry this is the field name and what will be the field value this will be the field value now line number will be three only what will be your field name this will be your field name and what will be the field value this will be the field value this is hidden area because we covered hide statement will store the contents into the hidden area and hide area or hidden area has how many column three column line number field name and field value now if i will go for this line number will be three only this is our field name and this will be our field value and our field value will be inr if i will copy this now our this particular thing is done so this is the record this is the contents in the hidden area now loop will continue for the next record so we have the first record has been written i will just log in again the server is slow and i will go for the next processing of the record it is important to understand the hide area because sap is storing internally and we cannot see the hide area so we need to understand yes how hide area will work i will just go for the program which we copied I will put a breakpoint again and then we will go for next record directly. We will go for order number 1 to 5. We already processed the first record. Order number, order date, payment mode and then we have currency. We have written the first record, but yes, line number will be three. And we have done the hide area for the first record. Now, now we are writing the fourth record. As of now, yes, based upon loop, it is second record. But based upon the output, two lines are already reserved. Then the system variable will be four. Then how, how this particular second record will store into the hidden area? Line number will be 4 now. The field name will remain same to same. The line number will be 4 now. Because this line number will play a vital role whenever we will go for secondary list. And what will be the values now? This is order number two. This is our date. This is our payment mode. And this is our currency. So now based upon loop, we processed the second record of the loop. Now we will go for third record of the loop. Hide statement, yes, executed it will write the contents into the hidden area. Now you can see, now we are going for third record of the loop, but based upon output, it will be in the fifth line. So what is side line number five? So how our hidden area will work? For the next record, it will be five. 
our field names are as it is. These are our four field names and the values will change. Now our order number is three. This is our date. Our payment mode is C and the currency is USD. Now we will go for fourth record of the loop. And ultimately it is line number six. And what will be go into hidden area? This will be our six. So it will be six. Our column names are as it is or field names are as it is. Only values will change. Now we have the order number four. Date is this. And we have C and USD. Now we will go for fifth iteration of the loop. And ultimately line number is seven. And we are passing it to hidden area. This is our hidden area. And the line number will be seven. And these will be the values. Order number will be five. Date is same to same. Payment mode is C and the value is IN. Now, if I will go to execute. So this is our basic list. And parallelly, we store this all line items into the hide area. This is our hide area where we have line number, field name and field value. So we have everything in the hidden area. Whenever we will go for secondary list, we will use all this information and we will be able to achieve the requirement. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, what we have done, we simply made a copy of the program. First important thing, we have written the hide statement inside the loop yes because we want to store the information of each and every line into hidden area so i have called inside the loop and i have written after the write statement yes in the next video i will show you if you will go above the right then how the wrong line number will store then i showed you the value of most important variable psi line number many people think why it has not started from one this thing your two lines are already reserved on the page first one is title second one is underline if you have given some title also using top of page then three lines are reserved then whenever you will go for write psi line number will be four so in our case it started from three. Then I showed you the hidden area. Whenever this hide will execute, how three columns will be in the hidden area. First column, line number, field name and field values. In the next video, what we will do? We will simply, simply click on to the line. Suppose if I will go for order number one, two, five, Whenever I will click on to suppose any line number. Now the line number information is in the hidden area. I will simply pick from the hidden area and we will display the particular data. So this part we will continue in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.